the music culture of Flinders has been, I suppose, it's easy in a way to miss because uh, you know we don't have a conservatorium and we don't we don't teach music, although we have had, of course. At first, it was actually taught as a subject, so there was a lecturer in musicology. Robert Illing, the founding father of, of music here, um, did have concerts. In fact, he even had a fair-sized orchestra. But it, 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 seemed, it seems to me it was done very much as a, a sort of genteel person's club. There wasn't any encouragement for music making. Dr Illing uh, eventually retired and musicology ceased to be taught as a formal subject. Various people who were very keen that music should continue in some form or other at Flinders formed the Music Advisory Committee. I sent a mail out to just about every, every member of staff and anyone else I could think of. Luckily, uh, I did find that there were a few, a good few around the campus who didn't need much prompting. They undertook to arrange for concerts to be given following on from the concerts that had been given by Dr Elling and his students. It is something, if one was to say, well, why do you bother with music when you've got so much accessible music? What does Flinders want to do with music? Well, the, the glib answer is that life is not complete without. The inclusion of music in education uh, is part of uh, creating a well-rounded individual. That is the reason, or part of the reason, why we have had support, necessary support in terms of finance from the administration that did recognise that this is adding something to life at Flinders, which nothing else can. Having music on the campus enriches the, the life of the university, especially a university such as Flinders, which is so strong in the humanities. Aside from discovering new music, it's about spending time uh, being human. Uh, there is something very human about music. It touches our soul in a very different way than anything else. I want to keep music alive at Flinders and I want to bring the, the wonderful performances that we have to a broader audience. I would really hope that Flinders continues to be a place that provides um, musical, a musical culture for its students, uh, for its staff and indeed for people from outside the university. I mean, maybe one day it'll all fold up, but maybe not. I hope not. <laughs>